Listen, another thing I want you guys to be careful of and I want you guys to pay attention to is your dreams and your visions. Another thing when it comes to making decisions and when it comes to opportunities that the enemy sends your way that look like the thing that are not really the thing. In my last video, I was talking about propositions, the counterfeit opportunities that the enemy likes to distract you with and get you to go a different way. So what the enemy does, right? He can't necessarily take what God has for you. He can't do that. But what he can do is he can manipulate your understanding of what you think you heard from God or what you think God said, but it wasn't really God. Or he likes to manipulate your understanding of dreams and visions. I want you guys to pay attention to your dreams and visions, okay? Because... You have your dreams that are from God, correct? You have your dreams where God might be trying to warn you of something. You have your dreams where God might be trying to show you something that'll come to pass or tell you to do something. And then you have your dreams also that could just be your imagination. And a lot of people can't understand or discern the difference. Amen. So that proposition or that counterfeit opportunity or that distraction that the enemy is trying to put into your life, he ends up distracting you. He ends up putting your focus on that. So that thing or that counterfeit opportunity, that distraction that the enemy has you focused on, you might end up dreaming about that because you've been imagining it in your mind. So now you have a dream about it and you think that that was God confirming that thing, but it wasn't actually God confirming that thing. That was your imagination. That was the enemy's way of manipulating your understanding of God's confirmation. And now when the enemy manipulates your understanding because of that dream that he distracted you by, guess what? You end up making a decision that completely takes you away from God, from where God was trying to take you, and you end up derailed. You end up distracted. You end up going a different way. Now listen, if you're not able to discern the difference between a, a dream that's from God and a dream that was just a distraction or a dream that was your imagination, I want you guys to take it to a prophet. Take it to one of your apostles. Take it to somebody who has the gift of dream interpretation. Now, if you don't have anybody like that in your life, I want you guys to fast and pray. Fast and pray. Dig deep in your prayer life. Read your word. Fast and pray. And if you still don't get an answer from God, understand something. God, our God is, is a, uh, our God is a faithful God. Amen. Our God is a faithful God, and He will not leave you without an answer. Job thirty one says, "For God does speak now one way, now another, though man does not perceive it." So if you still can't perceive it after you're fasting and praying, then you have to accept the fact and understand that you might be doing something wrong. You might still be living in sin. You might still be doing something that's clouding your vision. And if you're doing that, that's also something you need to pray about and ask God to reveal you, to reveal to you and identify what is that thing that I'm doing wrong. I love y'all and God bless. And listen, I want, it, I want you guys to make it a thing in 2024 to bring every decision that you make to God. Every decision that you make in 2024, bring it to God first and make sure that you are getting his confirmation. Come on, let's get it.